Welcome back everyone to another chapter. Don't forget to subscribe and like and now we need to continue. Last time Mr. Silton was shot, then we wanted to go out and look for our people, but he said that we want to save someone actually before then. So now we are going to invade, not invade, just visit the prison. And there should be a Mr. Logan. And he is Mr. Silton's friend, a drummer from his band. So we are going to save his ass. Uh, is this blocked? It is. Okay, this was the way that I needed to go. Wait, 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 wait. I need to jump on this. Skadoosh. Let's get back. Pretty easy so far. Nothing that difficult. It's obvious the security lights would set off an alarm. Is it already looking at me? Or is it just... Okay, I understand. There is no rubbish that I can collect. Ah, here is a can. Is there extra life? I would really use that. Oh, there is. Thank you for that. The bottle of wine or whatever it is. Take it. Do I have the key cards to this? I have. Okay, let's go first to the... I needed to find somewhere to hide, or the guards would kill me. I can wait just here. No one's going to find me here. Right? Okay. Let's go back. Everything fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's go into this door first. Block H. Uh, okay. What do you mean? It's high. No one's here, right? No one's here. Do I hear like a door? Bastards. Okay, it should be fine. The door is opened. Okay, that should be good. Nice. Now take it. Oh, this is a place to hide. Okay, get out, get out. I don't want to hide. Let's go here, control room. Okay, so I can hide in the lockers. So this is like an outlast or something. That guy was hiding in lockers. Ooh, run, little guy. I can go here, I believe. Okay. Another place. And here is a button. Mr. Silton. This was the switch that would open the laser door to Mr. Logan's cell block. So I actually went to the right way. At least I don't have to do this all over again. Let's get back. I should wait probably. But it still sees me and didn't trigger the alarm. I'm confused about it. Okay, I need to get through the top. Oh. Okay, easy. And he didn't even saw me. What a blind. I don't want to swear. Oh shit. Let's continue. Okay, I should go to the right. Is there something at the top? Nothing. I was there multiple times, what I'm doing. Is something at the top? Over here? There is a way which I was supposed to go or which I was not supposed to go. Can I jump this? I mean, I had the extra life, so that's fine. So here is our guy, right? This is just a locker to hide. Can I go through the ceiling? Will something hurt me? I don't think so. Let's go here first. A billiard. Can I play some? Ooh. This is tricky, really. I'm actually lost. I don't know where should I go first. Extra life, really nice. Pick up the trash. Over here. No one sees me. Another extra life, probably. Please? Yes. That will be useful. So there is nothing actually that I can use. 
Okay, that's fine. Let's continue over here. Security room. There is a gym in the security room. Now that's interesting. I would like a gym. Another security room door. I don't know if I should explore the top. Oh, there are some big doors as well. Another life. Alarm override. I think this is just if the alarm is triggered, it will turn it off. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. What does this do? Oh, I cannot trigger it. Oh, they see me. Go in the locker. Okay, now it doesn't matter. Mr. Silton seemed to think this would open the cell block door. Luckily, he was right. But I don't know how to get there. So this will not hurt me. Okay, now I need to get back. And how do I do that? Okay, go over here. No, wrong way. Where are my lives? I had three lives. Over here. Oh no 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 Am I fine? I'm not fine. I'm not fine. What am I supposed to do? Okay, never mind. Wait. There is something else over here, right? I wasn't here I guess. So let me explore it. Oh here are some cells. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Logan's cell was locked, but, thanks to my speedy brain, I was able to hack it in seconds. Mr. Logan was not pleased to see me. No one ever was. But I couldn't work out why. However, when I mentioned Mr. Silton, he soon cheered up. My man, I just Chris saved you. Our way outside. Even though I was Although a bad guy, I, I just sure saved about you. Mr. Logan's stealth techniques, they were quite different from mine. But, someone must have noticed Mr. Logan was missing. As, with a bright flash, we were soon attacked. Again, Mr. This Silton, wasn't is he? The plan, said Mr. Silton as he insisted he was okay, and that, no, I didn't need to clean up the trail of blood. He did, however, urge me to take care of the huge tank bearing down on us. Are you mad? Now a tank is following me. And why me? The bad guy is just right there. Why am I being followed? Wait, what? Oh, okay. So what's this? So I need to stand over here and they will fire it? No? Oh, okay, I understand, I understand, I understand. Come on guys, show me what you got. Oh, here's another one. Boom, boom, boom. Where's the third one? Here. This was easy. This was so easy. It's not the end though, it's not the end. Now it is, I hope. Not yet. We all piled oh, it into is. the van. Mr. Logan and Mr. Preston took out large guns as Mr. Silton gave me some driving software. It basically explained that one foot pump made the van go, and the other one signaled Mr. Logan and Preston to fire their guns. So now I'm playing Need for Speed. This is fun. Oh, I can hold it. But I somehow can... Oh, no. That was easy. Can I drift? I'm not even taking... Oh. Can I even see properly? When I have a fire in front of my eyes. Well, I don't know where is he sitting. All the bullets fired led to non-fatal wounds. 
but statistically that was incredibly unlikely. Strangely, I felt too excited and relieved to care. Mr. Silton winced as he clutched his bleeding shoulder and explained how you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I think broken eggs meant dead people. Sometimes, oh, yeah, yeah. he said, you have to do whatever it takes to survive, even if that means killing. But not innocent people, said Mr. Logan as he stared straight ahead. That's true. You should not Eventually, never... Eventually, I asked... What, what am I talking about? You should never kill anyone. In prison, ...but he just continued staring out of the window. Mr. Preston smiled as he said, I suppose someone should explain. He I would like to know why he was started. in the he prison in the first place. Have avoided conscription, but Mr. Logan was called up. His unit's first orders were to sweep through a huge urban area, killing anything that moved. The only trouble was, hundreds of refugees had recently taken shelter there. The generals knew that those people were there, said Mr. Preston, but they couldn't have cared less. This isn't the time for another one of your conspiracy theories, interrupted Mr. Silton. Although this I hope this guy doesn't, doesn't die. Preston, he, continued he, he got shot twice in the same place, I believe. Deserted, and, after a poor attempt to hide in a wooden vaulting horse, the pair of them were caught at gunpoint on a train, whilst trying to speak rudimentary German. Mr. Logan guided us down a small side street as Mr. Preston complained that he needed the toilet. Mr. Silton asked why we were taking the scenic route while he was trying not to bleed to death. But Mr. Logan gave Mr. Silton a quick glance. You're fine, he said with the faintest of smiles. Well, he doesn't the know the sky if he's was fine. Full of twinkling stars, and I was able to impress everyone with my navigation skills. The software was state of the art, but I remember Heather telling me how the ancients had used the stars in much the same way. It always made me smile, thinking about the names she gave the, the constellations. The Squash Spider. The One-Fingered Salute. It was the middle of the night by the time we got back, but Mrs. Silton was still I don't think that's real. For us. Really, again, in the same place. I thought you were the same place. said as she shook her head and tended to Mr. Silton's second bullet wound. Mr. Preston is not <laughs> Did so face. he sprinted towards the bathroom. It appeared that his body had kept on making urine, even though it didn't have anywhere left to store it. Thursday Night TV. Musical diversion. Trust me, I'm a celebrity. Questions for I asked money. Mr. Silton about Heather and the old lady, but he said he was just about to wash his hair. You don't have any hair. Don't later. lie. He said the main thing was that we'd got Logan Maybe on the sides. back and couldn't the rest wait until I had cleaned up the band room for him. I didn't know what to say. Everything we had done, everything I had helped him with, I thought it was all to get everyone back together. But now I didn't know what to think. Before I could say anything, Mrs. Silton explained that it was okay if I only traveled on trains and was alone. I must have looked worried as Mrs. Silton smiled and continued, If you really want these idiots to go with you, they can disguise themselves and catch the next train after you. Mr. Silton was dismissive, and said I'd get nowhere without proper ID. They'll be stopping robots for even the tiniest of things, he said. And a robot passport costs a fortune these days. Well, said Mrs. Silton, it's a good job I've got this. Mr. Silton Robot passport? confused and asked where Mrs. Silton got the money. Sometimes, said Mrs. Silton, when God slams a door in your face and shoots you twice in the shoulder, mm. he opens a window. Mrs. Silton explained how Preston had given her the extra money. He said there was good money to be made selling pills and powder to people that distracted them from the world being an absolute mess. Mm hmm. Bedtime, said Mr. Logan as he carried his guitar into his room. Everyone Just out of nowhere. Bedtime and leaving. Leaving me stroking the dog. And went to sleep. I awoke to the sound of Mrs. Silton making herself some breakfast. It felt very early, but I suppose it was just that we had gotten so late. Mrs. Silton gulped down her coffee, and with a reassuring smile she said, Let's do this. Do what? More cleaning? Or are we heading somewhere? Is she pregnant? Or is it just me that 
her belly looks somehow big. And she's also holding it. I believe she's pregnant. Look, she's holding her, her belly. The pedestrian tunnel was far longer than I expected. And why a pregnant woman is going with me? me a chance to chat I can't even run. Why? Register all robots. Rogue robots could last. She was from an upper class family, and that her parents had nearly disowned her when she married Mr. Sutton. But she said she really so was that guy with her husband. Is that guy that was at the beginning? She put it to the parties, to the Halloween party. Messed up world. But I don't remember However, what he was I dressing. Help but laugh when she said how much she liked Mr. Silton's band. I steered the conversation onto the topic of the war. Always when I'm trying to speak, he speaks. She explained she had been a nurse near some major combat. But she looked really sad, so I changed the subject. I asked her really if the nice from was you. nice. Mrs. Silton smiled and described it as a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Such a big door opens on itself. We are in a town. Passports. We have those, right? Nice. Oh, this is just for opening the doors. That's fine. I can run. But I should wait for her. Oh my god. Scrapyard, can I clean all this stuff and turn it in for some money or something and give it back to her? Oh, a ball. Can we play basketball? Train tickets cost 1000 So Mrs. Silton said I should trade in some of the things I'd cleaned so I could afford to travel. However, I have a load of stuff. Tried the door, it was apparent that the junkyard owner wouldn't be back for a while. Oh my god. So Mrs. Silton oh, it's just for lunch. I try to earn some money by other means. She said there were plenty of jobs in the town that a robot could do. Plenty of things, okay. A room cafe. Wanted help. And just the first? The largest of the old ladies explained the job to me. I would be drying plates. As easy. She explained that old easy money. couldn't afford to retire anymore. So she and her friends had to take menial jobs. All of the old ladies would be throwing plates at me as quickly as they could. I just had to catch and dry them. Catch them and dry them. So this is like money. Oh my god. So I need to press any... Wait, what am I doing? Oh. Oh, okay. I need to press two keys at a time. Right to the left and down. Girls, come on slowly, please. I know I'm a robot, but I'm still being controlled by the human being, that's me. That is me. Oh, I nearly smashed that one. I did that one. Oh my god, it's going fast. A plus! And I get nearly a thousand. Are you mad? I want to do the, such stuff in my country. I want to break plates and dry them. Out of lunch. Still out of lunch. There's one more trash bin. Oh, there's the ball. Okay, most pricey. Interesting music. The rickety old door led into some kind of drinking establishment. <laughs> establishment. The bartender soon made it clear that, as he put it, they didn't serve my kind here, and that I would have to wait outside. Okay, I'm online leave. I'm on my leave. Don't, don't mind me. I was just exploring stuff. Okay, never mind. Arcade. So here are games, right? Wanted. Robot Dyers. Here is Mr. Mr. Silton. This is Mr. Preston. This is Mr. Logan. The Little Woods. Suddenly, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. He said, oh, he said the same there's thing. something that catches your eye. Just pick it up and bring it over to me. Can I get like a better suit or something? Speedy clean. Oh, 2K vacuum. Ooh, so these are the upgrades, right? And basic, what does that mean? A long forgotten computer operating system. Uh, 
I don't know what that means, so I will say no. I don't want that. Uh, speed up the cleanup with this step toe chip upgrade. Uh, no. 10k, this would be mad. To have like a vacuum. Sucking junk that's just out of the reach. A housewife's best friend. I don't know if I can be considered as a housewife, but... I don't have enough money. I have enough money for this. And I would actually buy that. But the woman was saying... Fitting. I can't enter. But I would at least, at least like a new suit or something. But I can't afford it. Not now. But maybe after that while I can turn in every junk that I collected so far. And I could make a bad piece. So first of all, let's get our upgrade. Which is right here. In this shop. Where's the woman? I don't know. Let me get this upgrade. 10k. Press X and arrow key down. Oh, like this. Okay, never mind. Proceed to check out. Perfect for grabbing junk that's just out of reach, sir. That will be 10,000. I have that. The Don't worry. The room was actually a robot upgrade facility. Once completed, the money was digitally taken from my passport account. Who is doing that? Is he doing that on his own? I hope I will not have like a vacuum instead of my head. Oh, he looks the same. Okay. I still can get the other upgrades like the speedy clean would be kind of good. I don't know what this is. A long forgotten computer operating system. Floppy disk. But I don't want to waste more money. Let's get the passports. Absolute brick. Nope. Let's get the passports. Okay. One ticket. Okay. And another one. I need two. One journey, any route. Okay, can I go talk to the woman? Hey, I have the I have the tickets. Let's go. Can I see like the quest that I have? Maiden Heights Street, Chapter Six. Friends aren't always what they seem. So the prison helped me one of friends. Cave train tickets. I have two. Oh, at the at the bottom I see some upgrades. I have only two out of eight. If I'm not counting the vacuum thing. Damn! Why is there number one next to it? I don't know. Junk collected, junk here. I don't know. Let's just go to this guy, talk to him. Hey, I have a ticket. Okay, he let me in. But now, do I need to take this train? How do I enter? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, here are doors. What do you mean there is electricity? Oh, very nice, it's... Wait, what? This is good. The upgrade is really good. But wait... What am I supposed to do? I have the tickets. But I can't go anywhere. Am I lost? Let's go all the way over here. Open the door. I decided to leave oh, the town okay. and look around. Mrs. Silton smiled. Be careful if you're going back out there, she said. We'll still be here when you get back. Oh, and be sure you've still got enough money to catch the train. But when do I, I need to get on the train? Out to the mainland. But I will leave it here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below any suggestions, ideas or what do you think of the series so far. And I hope I will see you in the next episode. Take care.